Got Vic. Say what's up, Vic. What's going on? All right. What we got over here? We got tons of GMTs. A few, uh, couple of Pepsi, a couple of Cokes. What's up, Dylan? Say hi. What's up, man? What's up, guys? Oof. Right there, guys. You're looking at the perfect millionaire starter kit. Right there. These two pieces say, I have a lot of money, but I don't care about resale. These say, I want to protect my money while being stylish and trendy. These also say, I care about money, but I also want to be a badass. This is just all of the above. It's hard to tell right here, but that's the rose gold root beer. Favorite watch in there? In here? Yep. Easily the GP. The GP? Yeah, easily the GP. I'm gonna have to, you're right there. I've been wearing that one a lot lately, actually. Today I'm wearing the Rose Gold Omega. If you guys can't tell, I'm on a huge Rose Gold kick. I have this piece. I have the Rose Gold Root Beer, the Rose Gold GP, the Rose Gold Paddock, the Rose Gold Rainbow. I've had to cut myself off of Rose Gold pieces. I'm a little disappointed with those, that yellow gold and the, the rose gold and the only reason I say that is because the, the yellow gold Omega whenever you look at the movement on the back it's it's gold yeah if you look at the steel version it's it has like some hints of gold but it's like a silver movement yeah you'd kind of think that they would carry that tradition over with the rose gold and the movement yeah they be, did and it kind of and, it, and it's the, the movement is yellow gold in there so it doesn't look it doesn't hit like I thought it was going to be right <clears throat> so very loud very chaotic in here very loud in here. Boom, boom. <laughs> Trent, you good? Ooh, this is a cool box here. Let's flip around and look at this. So almost done with inventory for the show. Cool. One more case. All right, we're gonna finish that tomorrow, all right? Yep. All right, cool. All right, guys, so it's been a nice <clears throat> productive day here at the office. We've got a lot of stuff packed up. We got a lot more to finish tomorrow, but tonight's gonna be something a little bit different. I've had some stuff on my mind a lot <clears throat> lately, and I've been trying to figure out the best way to go about it. Basically, free up my schedule, free up some time, be more productive to where I can essentially be more effective. Now, without explaining too much of it right now, I've asked Jimmy. Um, some of you guys have seen him on my other videos, not a lot. He hasn't been in the, a lot of the videos because he's still <clears throat> in a transition before he comes to work for us full time. Um, but Jimmy means a lot to me, honestly. He's there's not a lot of people I trust. <clears throat> There's not a lot of people I feel like I can delegate stuff to. Um, but when I give it to him, stuff gets done. He has this motivation and this, um, this drive and this hunger for building a business and for being part of a business. So um, I've asked him to come to dinner with me tonight, just him and I, and I've got something I wanna present to him that I hope he takes it well, I think he will. Um, like I said, I've given it a lot of thought and you guys know I'm big on um, investing in people and paying it forward and you know, <clears throat> when I see something I want, I go for it and I do whatever it takes to get it. So come with me to dinner and without going into too much detail here, you'll just see at dinner. But I'm about to go pick Jimmy up and we're going to go to Albernay's and have a nice, nice evening. And I'm going to present him a proposal that... <clears throat> Hopefully he likes. Guys, like I said, I wanted uh, to bring 
Jimmy here to talk to him about something. Jimmy has been working behind the scenes now for how long with TPG? Probably eight months. Eight months. And how many months have we actually been paying for? Three and a half? Maybe three and a half, yeah. <laughs> so five months, like Jimmy came to me and said, I watch your videos. Wait, did you buy a watch from us? Yeah. <laughs> uh, about a mega speedmaster. <laughs> yeah, so if you guys haven't followed a lot of our videos, it seems a pretty common theme where people just come and they want to work for us, but to get our attention, they show up out of nowhere, buy a watch, and then pitch themselves to why yeah. they want to work with us. And like, Mike did it, you did it, Alfred did it. Uh, you got to see the process before you jump in. You know? Right. So. Anyway, that was kind of cool, but he caught my attention, came to me and just, you know, straight up just said, I love what you guys do. I uh, I think I can help you all out. I, I've watched a lot of your videos and based on, and this is referring to the Timepiece Gentleman videos, but, you know, watched a lot of the, the unorganization and the, just the chaos in our business. And he said, I can help you guys out. Came and did a tremendous job and over the eight months he's been with us we've developed a friendship with a very very uh, very very like-minded yep very business oriented very goal oriented very uh very organized and driven that's my thing is being driven and like i said earlier guys being hungry jimmy's helped me like get stuff organized we're in the process of hiring multiple people uh, i actually offered jimmy a spot to be to come and be my operations manager and offered you a generous salary it was and, very generous and this guy you know we have a fun job like it's not a nine to five it's a whenever you're awake to whenever you yeah. even while you're sleeping but it's fun it's a lifestyle it is and it's different from corporate world but it's more exciting and I, I offered to match his salary and all these things I tried to get him to come over here and he was actually you know generous enough to say back look I don't think that's the best use of your money I don't think that's the you know you, you can utilize your resources you can spread that money out to hire multiple right roles. thank you sir thank you sir Hot plate. Are you here? Oh. Yes. Already, guys. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> anyway, long story short, like he was, he was nice enough to say instead of taking that salary and, and, and hopping on over here, help us. He would stay on board, work for free, or little to nothing. Yeah. We pay you very nothing. Pretty much nothing for what you do. <laughs> to come, to keep helping us build and build and build. And if and when we got to a point, not if, when we got to a point that the business was organized and it made sense for him to come on, he was going to. Well, in doing all this, what you've actually taught me was to hire someone in your position for the amount of money it would take does not make sense for our business. Right. Um, we can hire three people for the cost of what it would take to just get you. Correct. And that's and that I have to increase the year. And I don't have to increase theirs every year. I have to increase yours every year. Right. So I've given a lot of thought to the next phase. I have personally so much going on that I you know I want to do all these good things. I have idea after idea after idea. You've seen just in the last. Oh, Oh, yeah. How how quickly ideas spawn. And if someone were there to act and like take these off my plate and, and me delegate it out to you and you make it happen, mm -hmm. we can do a ton of stuff. So what do you need to make? Bottom dollars. Let's start here. To quit your job and come work for me personally. Hmm. See start start with the bottom dollar. Bottom dollar. Probably at least yeah. The reason being is if I leave my job. Let me, let me backtrack. Okay. For one year. For one year. If I committed and promised you X number of dollars, plus there's other, mm -hmm. but minimum dollar figure, what could you survive on? I could survive on a. That's literally the exact number I had in my mind. You're a 30% partner in. Our project. Our project. What if I were to make you, what if I were to form a corporation? I'll give you the done. Um, and I'm going to make you a 30% partner in everything I do. We'll form a corporation. 
we will form an entity. And every venture that I start, I want you to head. Okay. I want you to, I'm going to come up Ooh. with the idea, and I want you to take over. And I will be there to give my input, like we're doing with our project now. Mm -hmm. I have the vision and the guidance. I just need someone to put it in. I, you talk to the attorneys. I need you scouting the locations, right. doing all these things, putting all the pieces together. Just put, you know. And I want you to be a 30% partner in everything. I will fund everything. All you've got to do is... Help build it. Help build it. That's a very generous, well, very generous My next question is, you've seen, you've known me long. Enough. Right. Are you willing to bet on me? Oh, 100%. 100%. Are you willing, do you have enough faith in me that you would say, yes, I'll quit my job and I'll come work for you? Yeah. Do you have enough, can you bet on yourself? Oh, absolutely. One thing I think that, aside from the passion I have for my business, mm -hmm. the reason I think I'm successful is because one day I said, I'm going to take a chance. Mm -hmm. I'm going to risk it. And if, you know what, if I fell, I fell, I learn a lesson, and then I'll go back and I'll get a real job, and, and I'll do it the way society tells you you're supposed to do it, right. supposed to do it. But I said, you know, I have faith, I have more faith in myself than society. Absolutely. I think I can go bigger than that. I think you, I personally would bet on you, and I, and I bet on me, obviously. And I think if you came and you said, Fuck it, let's do this, and you came and worked for me. So exclusively yourself, not TPG, no, it, it's your business. TPG, you would still work for TPG and you would still get that income right. until we hire an actual operations, operations manager. manager. When we hire an operations manager, that income would go to them. Okay. Or that, that income, would that, what we pay you from TPG would, would go be, to that. Would go to them to keep that money working with TPG. Okay. I will pay you separately to just be my executive assistant, business partner, whatever title you want to put on the COO of whatever company we create. <laughs> but I want you to be 30% partner in everything. I can, I see that I'll working. Give you, I'll give you a salary for one year. Mm -hmm. After that, after that, it's it's pure equity. Pure equity? Yeah. Now, to give you an idea of what I want to do is we have our venture that we're already working on. Right. In the next six months, I want to open a sushi restaurant, a coffee shop, and a tattoo parlor. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That is very, very intriguing. And for me, I completely agree. I would bet on myself 365 all year I bet on you as well you know the one thing for me is that walking away from the corporate I have no problem walking away from the corporate lifestyle yeah. it's just I can't go back because I will lose my license because they expire um, but I don't think that I would even look back as we go through this journey I think for me is I'm very intrigued by the offer I think it's a very generous offer and I am totally in, as long as we button up everything. How, how soon would you? I would, I would, I would have to stick it out to at least the end of the year, because I get some fat bonuses. Okay. So but starting January first, I would, I'd be 100% be in. So here's my question to you: Are you guys watching? This is right here. Right here. When you come, when you quit your job in January first, come work for me full time. Yes. My right hand man, my COO, my executive assistant, my business partner, everything. At thirty percent, to run my life, so I can keep building. More. Yeah. If someone can delegate, dude, I have a list of tasks in that book right there. I can hand it to you, and they would get done in a week. Oh, so yeah. It take me a month to do it. I mean, you see how fast we move with some of the things that we've done. Yeah. Hundred percent. You're serious? I'm serious. There's yeah. no turning back. There's no turning back. I'm strict. If we're if. I'm aggressive. Hey, what have you learned from YouTube? <laughs> if you if you screw over this guy, guess what happens? You get blasted. You get blasted. Are you sure? I'm 100% in. All right. Start of the year. As long as we have it all legally written down. 100%. I'm in. All right. Yeah.
this. Like somebody else. It's a sign on this. I'm gonna go ahead and buy you right now. Fuck you, dude. I told you guys, I always get it wrong. And I do what it takes to get it. Mm -hmm. Did you wrap this or did Sutton wrap this? I actually wrapped this. You wrapped this yeah, one? Yeah. Hey, buy a watch, you get this it's, new wrapping. Yeah, I know. You can tell I wrapped it because I still, whenever you take the corners, you're supposed to fold all of them over and just put one crease piece of tape like that. One crease, one piece of tape. Yeah. I tape everything. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't perfected yet wrapping yet. No way, man. Seriously? Wow. Kept borrowing. I'm tired of you borrowing mine, so. <laughs> wow. Take a look. There's a there's a happy meeting in there where this is going really easy and you This is sick, dude. This is so sick. Wow. Hey man, I appreciate it, dude. Alright. January 1st. I think this guy is going to help me build an insane empire along with TPG. Everything we're doing is going to be the benefit of gentlemen time pieces and every other venture that I start. But what he needs, I need him, I need someone to delegate stuff to. I need someone that I can trust to hand stuff over to and know it'll get done in the most effective um, and Efficient way. Efficient way possible, and this guy's proven it in eight months, so. Let's get it. Now we are gonna enjoy all this shitty food that I'm putting my diet up for, so I'm gonna enjoy it. We got Chateau Briand coming again.